Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Gosh, this week we are moving from the Earth of Virgo into the Air of Libra and that should be a really nice transition for you guys. Air and fire always get on well and we have a new moon in Libra occurring on the 25th or 26th depending on where you are in the world and yeah, this is kind of a really wonderful time to find some equilibrium to restore some kind of harmony and balance in your world at this moment in time. So let's see what messages are coming in for Sagittarius. You've got purification. It's kind of interesting as well because uh, Leo got a sort of a similar message. If you've got any Leo or cross-watching for Leo, you might want to watch that reading as well. But this is kind of where I feel like the air signs are very much clearing a whole heap of stuff out. <laughs> it's like a, it's kind of like a huge detox, like an energy detox of some sort, or it could be a, like even like a an emotional or physical detox of some sort. But, yeah, the purification energy, I just feel like you kind of – either clearing the air with somebody or just, yeah, it just needs to be this clear space in front of you. So let's see what is coming in. And it's interesting because, you know, it is uh, Aries is actually the opposite sign of Libra. So Aries will be the opposite energy of the new moon. And being the fire and air, that will be be having some positive effects for you guys as well. So let's see what's coming through for Sagittarius. What sort of themes are coming in around this purification energy that's coming through? So yeah, cleaning as well. You might find yourself clearing or cleaning out. That's something that could be coming in. So let's see. King of Shells, harmony and integrity. Again, that, those beautiful words, harmony, restoring emotional harmony with a situation, people acting with integrity, uh, restoring the integrity of a relationship or the integrity, like a, a structure of some sort. Whether Because we've got the King of Shells, this is the King of Cups, so it is around potentially around emotions. <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that that's a really, and the King of Shells is a Scorpio energy. Perhaps there's a Scorpio in your life. It doesn't have to necessarily be so, but it's something that runs pretty deep emotionally here. So something that's ran deep is emotionally being purified. Uh, and I feel like there's a, because it's a Libra energy we're working with, there's usually an other with Libra. It's usually Libra is about bouncing off other people. So yeah, the King of Shells is a very a deep emotional energy. It may be that having a deep connection with somebody or fight, you know, a deep conversation with somebody could actually be something that clears the air or helps you feel like, yeah, the space around you is is feeling like th this purification energy. What's shifting and changing? Cut three, Pluto, Cancer. It's interesting. A lot of Pluto coming in for you, actually. So you might be getting a lot of messages around what can be transformed in your life at this moment in time and, you know, celebrate, celebration around that. This could be around things to do with energies around the home as well. So it could be or to do with family. So home and family, emotional connections to them, purification, deeper or deepening of energies or deep conversations are all things that are coming through with this Sagittarius. So let's see what else is coming in. The cup three is celebration as well. You know, wanting to find, having things to celebrate, perhaps there's some celebrations around. We've got, yeah, Six of Swords as the situation, what's coming towards you this week. This has been able to move on. Again, moving on from a situation that you can see the water here. There's been some kind of like something that's kind of potentially been bothering you on that emotional level or something that's been underlying there uh, that potentially hasn't made you happy or you've held on to for whatever reason. And this has been able to move on from that and find the peace in the situation. That's kind of where we're getting this purification energy as well. So I do feel like this is yeah just a really great week for bringing in harmony with something that was kind of troubling or upsetting you emotionally with a relationship. Um, the Six of Swords is also the card of travel. So it may be that somebody travels to see you or you travel to see somebody else uh, but yeah, the Six of Swords. This could also be the card of a move, making a move or moving um, in some way. So that comes through. 
Okay, consequences of this, we've got the rule, the, the full, this is, yeah, press the reset button, stepping into a very new energy, a lighter energy. Uh, you might be quite literally traveling to do something new, um, which is something interesting, or you might be just moving on from an old energy and stepping into a whole new space. And it, it might feel a little bit like it's taking a risk, but the full likes to travel light, the sun is shining there, and there's a sense that you're about to kind of step into a heart a whole new arena, start something new and press the reset button, which feels good. Let's look at some of the major external factors. The Queen of Swords, there could be a Libra around, <laughs> quite literally, with this Queen of Swords is a Libra energy, but it doesn't have to necessarily be so. This is potentially somebody that you're having a conversation with, very, very clear conversation um, with this Queen of Swords energy because we, her, you know, it's clear, there's no clouds of confusion, fear, doubt here. And so this is also uh, potentially something's got the green light, something new has got the green light in terms of something within your life. It could be within a relationship or somebody else's life that's having an impact on yours, but the Queen of Swords kind of says yes to something as well. So there's a there's a yes or a green light that's coming in and or just it's just very clear conversation and a very deep one with that king of shells coming through so yeah i mean i think it's all really positive energy to come come in with this sagittarius so yep something is moving forward let's see let's see what the fairies have to say for you let's see what the fairies have to say for sagittarius too many in there, although I think that was the Lady of the Harvest. It may be time to reap the harvest of, um, you know, this purification energy, getting some benefits from that. We have Nellis the Alchemist. Okay, I love this. This is actually Nellis guides you towards the future. She's a little bit like the star card. She's very Aquarian in nature. So I feel like this is going to be such a purification in, in terms of the future of this direction that you're going in with a relationship or just where you feel like your future is going in general. There's a purification, a sense of just feeling guided again if you weren't feeling that way or that you know where this relationship is going. So there's a very a sense of you're being guided into a future energy uh, with this person, which is actually really nice with Nellis the Alchemist. The future could be looking a little bit brighter, <laughs> but a lot needed to kind of be cleared up as a result. So let's have a look at the animal spirit energy around you at this moment, Sagittarius, and see what is coming in. Animal spirit energy for Sagittarius. What is coming through for Saggy? We have raccoon. Okay. Interesting. There's been something lurking in the shadows here with the raccoon, something that's wanted to come up and out. And so, yeah. They're kind of giving me the words garbage. I know we don't actually have raccoons here in Australia, like it's not a common animal, but um, I know that they're known for going through rubbish or garbage in some way. So I was kind of getting there's a whole heap of garbage that's coming up out of the shadows to be cleared out and purified in some way. Uh, the raccoon energy can also come in where there's parts of you you've been hiding or haven't been showing or revealing to somebody else for whatever reason, and maybe it's time for that to come up into the light because there's this lightning, there's this uh, brightening that's coming in. And sometimes this can be very creative energy. You know, maybe there's just more of you that is being revealed to the world or you're getting messages that the world wants a little bit more of you that for whatever reason you've wanted to hide. And so, yeah, that can be creativity as well with the raccoon. So that's kind of what, I, what I'm getting with that. So let's look at... The blessings coming in for the week, Sagittarius. The blessings for Saggy coming through this week. The blessings for Saggy coming through this week. And I find it interesting this Queen of Swords and Nellis are both heading in the same direction here. They're both heading in the same direction. So I do feel like it's like two people heading in the same direction and you get the green light. And it's very much working on this raccoon energy, the things that have been uh, shedding some light on some stuff at this moment in time. So blessings coming through for Sagittarius. 
blessings coming through. And it may be that you get a yes from this other person that comes through that suddenly it's like, okay, now we can move forward into the future. We've got the world, okay, completion, completion of cycles, <laughs> endings, fulfilment and celebration and liberation of some old cycles. So I, whatever has been bothering you here, it's kind of over, which is actually really good. You kind of manage to get over the other side of it. If you've got a lot on this week, this is a good sign for getting everything done with the world card coming through and just feeling free from an old cycle that's been um, bothering you here. It is very much in the fixed signs here. We can see um, the Aquarius Leo the fixed energies that are coming through here with this. So I do feel like it's something that potentially wasn't budging for a while, but now there's a sense of it was able to be freed up, which is actually really nice. So let's see. Let's finish this off Ooh, with an affirmation card. I'll try not to throw my crystals around too much. An affirmation card for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? We've got, oh, I love it. I am at peace. Okay, beautiful. Divine peace and harmony surround and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Beautiful. This peace, and that's what the Seven of Swords was, you were finding peace within a situation that there had been some kind of emotional drama or intensity or um, yeah, something around, but it's like finding the peace now everything being cleared up, stepping into this reset lightning energy, which is really nice and stepping into a future with this other person. I feel like there's this sense of uh, re-establishing harmony and integrity within the relationship, which is really lovely. So that's it, Sagittarius. That is your reading for the week. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, and love to hear your comments uh, about how this is resonating. And all of that helps with the growth of the channel because it lets YouTube know that you appreciate this content and it supports the channel. And yeah, please take care.